How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Trial and Error Kitchen. Let's go get some coffee. All right, here we are, Billy Goat Coffee Cafe in Mount Juliet, Tennessee. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, may I please have a large cold brew uh, sweetened with a little bit of milk? Sure. Large cold brew sweetened, a little bit of milk. Yep, that'll be it. All right, pull around for me. Thank you. Hello. Hello. 280. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. You too, thanks. I enjoy cold brew coffee. I mean, who doesn't, right? But going to the coffee shop all the time gets really expensive. So let's, uh, let's get back to the kitchen and see if we can find a better way to do this here. So, as we were talking in the car, um, it gets really, really expensive to go to the coffee shop all the time. I mean, I love cold brew, but I'm not gonna go buy it every day. I mean, that adds up. However, you can make it at home. It takes a little bit of time, it takes a little bit of effort, and if you use good coffee, you'll get good cold brew. But if you use a fancy coffee, I mean, that's gonna add up too, right? It's gonna be more expensive. So let's take a not so expensive coffee and see if we can make it just as good. Cold brew coffee is made by steeping coffee grounds in cold water or room temperature water for an extended period of time. So you're not gonna need that boiling water. So turn off the kettle or turn off that coffee pot. For this cold brew, you're going to use three quarter cups of coffee for every four cups of water that you use. So go ahead and grab a pitcher or a um, old kombucha bottle like this one and start adding your coffee in. After you've done that, you're going to top off the bottle with the right amount of water. In this case, I just had to top off the bottle to the brim and that would give me the 32 ounces of liquid that I needed. After putting the cap on, give it a good shake and go ahead and throw it in the fridge and we'll check on it tomorrow. Cold brew takes time, about 12 to 24 hours of time to be semi-exact. I know it's a long time to wait, but it should be worth it for the end product. This will save you money in the long run. If you're still watching, I can't thank you enough. Trial and Error Kitchen doesn't work without viewers like you. If you're enjoying the channel, please drop me a like, subscribe, and comment below with any ideas for future episodes. Alright, let's check on that coffee. After about 24 hours, you're going to want to take your jar or bottle, whatever container you used, out of the fridge in order to filter out the cold brew. Yes, please filter it. Drinking coffee grounds is, it's not fun, it's not enjoyable. So get you some cheesecloth, a sieve, or even a coffee filter or a device like the one that I'm using in order to filter out your coffee. You may have to transfer it over a few times into a variety of containers depending on how much you've made. Now that we have all of our cold brew strained out, we can put it back into our container, which we've already washed, um, and then we'll try it out. Not a bad haul. I mean, it's a little cloudy, but um, 
I mean, you could continue to put it through a sieve if you want to kind of get it as clear as possible. Alright, let's give this coffee a try. Normally, cold brew is pretty mellow in flavor, not at all bitter since we use cold water instead of hot water. Um, so, the test was, can we take a... Can we take an inexpensive coffee and make it into good cold brew? Well, let's find out. Smells like coffee. Oh, okay. That was gross. Um, we cannot take this cheap coffee, at least not this one, and turn it into good cold brew. So just forget about that one. I'm gonna go back to the drawing board and I'm gonna find a couple of more coffees, try them out, and I'll come back to y'all with a results video. So if you've liked this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you have any suggestions for coffees to try for cold brew, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And so that you don't miss out, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.